It is not unusual to sport constant cup an urban planner and active cyclist along the James Gishuru Road every morning as he cycles to work. Cycling is, is quite interesting. I mean, I've not been cycling to work for too long because I started last year in August. Since last year, Constant has been cycling from his home in South Sea to Lovington area, his place of work. He says cycling has offloaded the fair trouble that comes with public transport, among other benefits. Not in my fitness. Um, I'm also a rugby referee, and that kind of saves me a bit of training time, especially when you're doing those tough hills like Mbagathiwe. But from another perspective, it also helps a lot in saving travel time. However, he is not the only person who uses a bicycle as the usual mode of transport. 2012, and as a way to reduce congestion in urban cities, improve physical fitness and general health of many, as well as create a clean environment away from the pollution of carbon emissions. The United Nations Assembly set aside 3rd June as World Bicycle Day. However, despite wanting to achieve the sustainable development goals as set by the UN, there is still trouble owing to lack of adhering to said laws in the country, as well as the infrastructure that has bred a culture of military-style evasive maneuvers of navigating Nairobi traffic. So, ni kama hata wao hawaheshimu baiskeli. Kiangalia barabara zetu vile zimejengwa hata pedestrians wako hizo kuna. Kwa hivyo ni ngumu sana kupata mtu mwenye anatarajia ama anajisikia kuendesha baiskeli. At the moment the signboards will remain to be just that without the designated cycling lanes. When you look at some of the old bylaws they even talk about not allowing cycling in the CBD. And this goes against uh, the current sustainable development goals which push for more inclusive and sustainable means of mobility in, in urban centers. As countries like Eritrea embrace the cycling culture, here in Kenya that remains to be a weekend pastime activity. Kenyans appear to be Latin cyclists just waiting to be enlisted with the right cycling infrastructure. But first, Kenyans have to hop onto a bicycle and ride on to their daily chores. A ride to help and well. Uh, Rakamwikai, Citizen TV, Nairobi.